Well, nursing was important for me because it was, you know, health is more important than anything else. For my culture, it is the most important thing that needs to change. And I wanted to do something about it. While staying at home is obviously what you want to do when you have a big, close family. You have to leave to go to university, so... So that's what I did. Well, graduating and achieving something was huge for me. It was really great to have my family there and to have them be proud of me. It's a fantastic feeling. And so leaving is, is important. Growing is important. When I told my family, they didn't believe me. I'm going to be a nurse. Oh, crap. <laughs> I am. I thought you were a nurse. Yeah. Oh, Joseph, when Mandala fell over, he scratched his leg, didn't. What happened? Fainted. I like that. So, when I go, I have to go to university. Isn't it expensive? Well, yeah. But I got a cadetship with the Department of Health, so. I'll have a bit of money and I can come back during the breaks. Lie down. Yeah. Well, you might have to look after everybody. And Kay will have to do the washing up. <laughs> That's right. The great thing about nursing is that it's not just in hospitals. It can be anywhere in the world. And it can also take you in any direction you wish to go in. You can work in the emergency department or in chronic care, in nursing homes or in paediatrics or midwifery. It can be what you want it to be. It was a huge decision to leave. And there was a lot of people that doubted me. They thought I was leaving them behind. What you doing tonight? But I guess that drives you as well. That's also a, a thing to hold on to and to use as a tool so that you you do fight harder to prove them wrong. Lush. Uptown. It's funny how that does turn around and especially when they see what you've achieved and when you're working, it really changes things for your friends and your family and, and the community that you come from. Working in the emergency department is really hands-on and it's fast-paced and it's high adrenaline. There's not much time to stop and consider of where you are for the day. Come on, cuz. We've got to go in. Quick. My name is Aaron. I'm one of the doctors here. Yeah. All right. When did the pain start? Oh, an hour ago. There's no time to think. It's just automatic pilot because you're in there and you're saving lives. 120 over 80. It's following here sometimes. And it's a real adrenaline rush. Hey. We need to see a doctor now. Uh, yep. My cousin's been bleeding here for the last... A doctor's going to come as soon as we've got one available. No, okay. I want one now or something's going to happen. Therese, I've got it. Yeah, OK. Yeah. I'll take him through and I'll get him Just cleaned up, all right? Good yeah. Hands. Thanks, Therese. OK. Won't be long. I'll take him through. Yeah. All right? I'll take him through. Come I'm on, coming. Man. No, 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 you wait here. You wait here. And, um... Who's going to who's gonna support him? I need to be with him. I'll be with him. I'll be with him the whole time, all right? We'll just clean him up, get the doctor, and come back and get you, all right? You come off your skateboard, eh? Mm. I was taking on bigger responsibilities and really enjoying it. And I felt really empowered. It was something I could handle on my own. It won't be long. And the people who gave me a hard time. You all right? Later on, as a nurse working in the hospital, I've seen those people and helped those people. There you go. Last one. How's that? And that's just so huge. It, it's OK. Good. They know it's huge, and I know it's huge, and it, you can feel the shift. It is making a positive impact on them. And it's also, it gives them, I think, something to think about for themselves. Because I come from the same places that they do. I'll be back in a sec. I've just made different choices. OK, so he's fine. He's in with the doctor now. He's not going to need any stitches. You can take him home tonight. It's all fine. OK? Yep. Yeah, thanks for that, eh? It's no problem. All right, I'll all see right. you later. Katie, was everything OK with those guys back there? It's all fine. I know them. I walk past them every morning. So. Oh, right. Great. Yeah. Thanks for taking care of that. It's fine. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah. Hey, look at you. 
blood everywhere. The more I learn about nursing, the more I realise what a great job it is. It gives me the chance to travel and catch up with friends and family. There are other jobs, but nursing keeps me in touch with my own community. When I see people that I know come into the hospital, I'm able to have a, a positive impact in their health and, you know, I'm able to maybe change a little bit their ideas of hospital and how scary that is. And that's incredible. That's... For Aboriginal people, that's really incredible. You gonna come in? Oh, I don't know. I don't That's know right. whether to go in or not. Yeah, come in. We'll get your medication sorted out. You'll be out in half an hour, not even that. Are you sure? Yeah, you've got nothing to be afraid of. OK. Easy. Give me your arm. Easy. Yeah, well, I don't want you to be worried about coming in here. OK. This is the renal dialysis unit. In here, you can help people who are really sick get on with their lives. Neil, this is Josie. Hi, Nia. Neil. Neil's been on dialysis for a fair while, haven't you, Neil? Have you been here a while already? Yeah, since nine o'clock this morning. I must be nearly done then. Yeah. yeah. A few more hours, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm making a huge difference. And it may be at a very kind of one-on-one -on -one level, very personal level, but changes, you know, kind of one patient at a time. Worrell, this is Josie. Hi, Uncle. Worrell, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Worrell comes three days a week, don't you? We'll miss out the dialysis and have it three times a week. Yeah. Well, it's good as keeping you healthy, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and never misses, do you, Worrell? Nah. <laughs> Aboriginal people, they die too young. But I guess there's no use complaining about it. With nursing, we can be in here helping out on a daily basis. This old uncle's in here three times a week and has been for 20 years. It's pretty sad, I guess. I didn't realise Camilla was so big. And I can educate others about our culture and where we come from and our family ties. So Uncle Worrell is from this area here, Dungari, which, of course, is where Kempsey is, which makes sense. Yeah. Mm. And never left New South Wales. <laughs> yes! Get in there, Jesse! Get up, come on! When you move around a lot, you meet a lot of people. There is a bond. There's a, there's a bond that connects you that uh, lasts a lifetime. And you have these people, you, you find these people that stick with you forever. And, and it's, that's really important, you know, just as human beings. That was our boy. To have those close people and those close friends. Where are you being, mate? We don't have many male nurses, and they're really needed, especially in our prison system. Sam is an Aboriginal mental health nurse, and he's busy working with prisoners all the time. Now bring you in to Josie. She's going to do a couple of obs on you, bros. No, let's just sit over here and I'll just do your blood pressure. He's an important link for them to the outside. Yeah. Hey, what you been doing, bros? You been pumping weights or something while you're in here? Some people just make bad choices in life. But with Sam's help, they can get another chance. I'll just check your temperature, DJ. Just hold still, they put this in your ear. Yeah. I took my chance when I decided to go to university. It was really daunting. And it was scary being the only Aboriginal person in the classroom. Well, I was lucky enough to get a cadetship with the New South Wales Department of Health. Through the cadetship, I was introduced to my mentor. It's just like, Bleh. have some information. That was really great because that meant I had somebody that I could connect with at any time. If I was struggling with anything, then she was always there. There's also the Aboriginal Education Centre here. Have yeah. you been down there? She had been through what I was going through already, so that meant she could provide me with answers. The other great thing about the cadetship was that it provided me with a fortnightly income, which meant that I didn't have to eat noodles, which was good. It gave me the ability to focus on my study and not have to worry about where money was coming from. Yeah, I know, it's going to take a while, you know. You just yeah. have to get used to it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you can do it. Yeah. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> Yes, she 
<laughs> we both kind of had two left feet. <laughs> but the, the important thing that we were getting in there, enjoying the community environment and, and giving it a go, that was what the fun part was, you know. Just enjoying yourself and also meeting people, especially our elders. Yeah, the old people in the nursing home do respond to you. And, you know, we all know that look that we get from our elders or... Hello. You know, you see an Aboriginal person and there's an unacknowledged connection and a knowing that you have. Josie. <laughs> Josie. Just being able to be there in the nursing home with those old fellas and they're helping them on a day-to-day -day basis. They feel safer seeing your face. <laughs> and knowing that you're there. There's your Mondays. I'll take that one for you if you like. Lovely. All right, Irene. I'll see you a bit later. Thank you very much. Not a problem. Me giving something to them. It comes back to me heaps. Helping people is not just in hospitals and clinics. It's also way up here. In fact, a nursing career can take you anywhere in the world. And the view's pretty good too. Working as a care flight nurse, well, what do you say? You're flying every day and you're transporting patients that need help and you get to be in the air. It's incredible. Being a registered nurse, I can do a post-grad course to become a midwife. This is my friend Jay. She went straight into a midwifery yeah. course after school. Mums come in with these tiny little babies and they're scared. But I knew that through my training, I knew exactly what to do and I could help them. Hi. How are you? Uh, not well. Yeah, <laughs> worried. worried. This is Josie. Josie's the nurse. Hi, Hi Josie. She works here and she's going to be looking after Chikiri. OK. You? Getting a good start in life is really important for us mob. There's not enough Aboriginal nurses and midwives and it's got to be one of the most rewarding things you can do. Because I know how important it is to be helping deliver happy, healthy babies. <laughs> Deciding to be a nurse is by far the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> and my advice to anyone thinking of being a nurse or becoming a midwife... Well, you say it then. <laughs> ..would be absolutely, just go for it. I, I've been a nurse. I was one of the first Aboriginal nurses at Natural Hospital. <laughs> Were you? Yep. See you there. You'll grow as a person and make a contribution to your people. And you don't have to start from school. You can start any time. The door is always open. Did you all know and it's part of our culture to help out with family when they need it. I really owe them heaps, eh? There are endless career opportunities in nursing and midwifery, and there's heaps of people who can help you to achieve your goals. It's easily been the most rewarding experience of my life. It's your mob, it's my mob, it's our mob. <laughs> <laughs>